Hey everyone, how are you? I know it's been a while since I have done a video. Um, I've been slacking because I'm super busy and I don't know why I promised a video a day. <laughs> I think we all knew that that was not gonna happen. So let's go back to like two or three videos a day and see how that goes. Um, once I get up and running in the new Hair Mama Consult Center, I will probably have enough help to be able to step away for a minute and do these videos because I feel like it's so important to show you guys these wigs and how to wear them and little tips, tips and tricks that go along with it um, to make your wig or topper buying a success because it is a scary thing at first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw out one tip to you guys. If you are new to wigs and toppers, I suggest that you skip the custom route as much as you would want to go the custom route. I suggest you skip that route and you head towards my stock. Um, this is why, because when you're a new buyer, new wearer, you're not sure what you want, right? So you may custom order a topper and it may get here and you might realize, oh my gosh, I really needed a wig. And then customs are not returnable. So that's that. So if you are first time, I highly, highly, highly encourage you, go to my stock, uh, message Lisa, sh send a shout out to um, my consultant Lisa, and she will help you find something. Okay, so here I've got Danny number two on me. Um, Danny number one was a huge success, and those of you guys that follow Danny Austin on Instagram, she was sporting a hair mama wig recently on Good Morning Texas, and it was hot and gorgeous. And I have had so many messages about that wig. And so here is number two. And the reason I'm saying number two is because all of my wigs are hand done, um, custom colored and cut. So meaning it's not always gonna be the exact color. Okay, so this one is a little bit darker than Danny number one. This is a Slavic and Slavic hair is a special type of Russian hair. It is found in the Ukraine. It is the most highly sought after texture. Um, and hardest to find and at a good price. That's the key. Um, Slavics can get very, very expensive. So this is my affordable Slavic um, wig line and these are pre-colored, meaning you cannot do any other process to this. They will not lift, you can only deposit on these. So this is Slavic, Slavic is the Ukrainian hair. It is baby fine, like super baby fine. So it's gonna mimic that, you know, that natural fine baby hair texture, as you can see. Slavic tends to dry wavy. So this has a lot of natural wave in it and it just varies from wig to wig. Some are extremely wavy, some are barely wavy and some are just like medium of the road wavy, okay? This one is wavy. Okay, also Slavic hair has a tendency to be a little frizzy, okay? Nothing wrong. Don't run away from frizz, we can combat it, but if you are not a frizz fan, then please don't get a Slavic because you will have a heck of a time getting it to work with you. If you like the movement in hair and you like the waves, Slavic is like, there's no other way to go. This is the only cap that Danny chooses and this is the only hair that she has chosen specifically from me because she just loves the way that these lay, how flat they are, how lightweight they are, and just how realistic the hair looks because that's really important. Um, is what the hair texture looks like. We don't want anything that's too super dense and thick because um, to me that's a dead giveaway that you're wearing hair, right? Or extensions or something. Okay, so this is a full lace cap, meaning it has, oh, and by the way, these cute earrings are from my girl on Instagram and it is 1110, I believe. I'm probably gonna do that right. 1110, I think it is. I will tag it in the video. And she's got the cutest earrings ever and you can see them on my mannequin heads too but I wanted to give her a shout out because she has let me use some of these pieces on my mannequins and I just love them. Okay, so this is what full lace looks like. The whole cap is lace. Okay, that's also scary to some people, but let me tell you about full lace. Once again, embrace the lace, ladies. Um, lace is where, it at, where it's at because it lays super, super flat to the head. It is super lightweight like barely there because I mean, it's just a thin piece of, of lace. And then the Slavic, or I'm sorry, the full lace cap, sorry, people are texting me while I'm doing the video and screw me up. Um, the, 
this kind of cap is stretchy, lightweight. Um, a lot of people think like, oh my God, damage is so delicate. It's not really that delicate. I mean, yes, you want to take care of these. You want to wash them properly. You want to take care of them properly. But this this wig and this hair should last you a couple years if cared for properly. You obviously aren't gonna wanna rip it on, rip it off because yes, the lace can tear. Okay, now with the lace, the full lace cap, hope you guys can see that in this lighting. It's a little cloudy out right now. This is the parting and this is full lace and that you see is on my skin. Okay, now when I send these out, I send these with a piece of scar tape and I will show that in one of my videos as a tip. And the scar tape just goes on the back of this and then it's gonna look like scalp. Because a lot of people say, well, is it gonna look real on me? Is it not gonna look real on me? A lot of people are worried that their own hair is going to show through this, but I'm gonna show you that it doesn't. You can also wear a wig cap, okay? So there's no need to, to stress about that. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to arm, be armed and ready for this frizz. And by the way, this piece is Danny number two. This is my um, pre-colored Slavic hair. This is a size small and it's a Russian small. So it's a little bit bigger than an American small. It's a 21.75 inch circumference. I would also say a 22 inch will fit this. Okay, so this is 23 inches and $1,100. So this is the wig of the day. This will be posted today later for purchase. And anytime I send one of these out, I send a nice little gift and stuff um, with the wig of the day. And I like to showcase it here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you girls and guys, I always say that, there's guys watching too. I'm gonna show you how to combat this Slavic frizz if there is any. Um, it's really not that difficult. So if you wanna combat your own frizz, this is a good demo. Okay, so these are my go-to four products, okay? Yes, I said four, because sometimes it's hard to come back for it, okay? So what I usually go to first, after I style it, it's done styling, the next thing I'm gonna go to is this product right here by Kevin Murphy. It's called Easy Rider, and this stuff is the best defrizzing definition cream that's out there. It only takes a little bitty amount on your finger, so this should last you a long time. Put it in your hand. Make sure to rub it together really good. You want the heat of your hands to heat it up. And then I always start at the top here because that's where you're gonna get some return hairs. And return hairs always freak people out. And I get people that message me and I get it, especially when you're a new hair, a new wig wearer. I've been there and this freaked me out as well. These are return hairs, okay? Return hairs are always going to be on a full lace cap, no matter what, because there's no other way to knot the hair. And then if you have a French drawn silk top, which a lot of people also don't know, that will have return hair as well, because it's different than a regular silk top. It's woven a different way, more like this and more natural looking, but you are gonna have those return hairs. So if you are a person that is not gonna like these little baby hairs, I personally use them to my advantage, but if you're a person that's not going to like this, do not get a full lace or a French drawn, drawn silk cap because you're gonna get these and you're not gonna know what to do and you're gonna freak out and you're gonna call me and you're gonna say, my wig has small hairs cut throughout. Your wig does not have small hairs cut throughout. They are called return hairs. So I feel like it is so important to educate you guys, because if you're not educated and you get something and you're like, what the heck is that? I don't blame you. I'd freak out too. And I remember being a new wig wearer and that was one of my freak outs. And now I've come to love them and appreciate them. So this is the easy rider. I started at that root. This is going to lay down any of those baby hairs at the nape of the neck is where it tends to get frizzy as well. So put that all through. And then once you feel like you've got it good and evenly distributed, we can go to the next product. So the next product, you can actually even use this before you do this or after, but this is by Kenra and this is dry oil control spray. And you can see right here it says new Tames Frizz and it does really amazingly. So I always start on the inside because this is where it gets real frizzy. And then you're just gonna spray and you can't, you can't really apply too much of this. It's super light, it's not heavy at all. Okay. Put that throughout, comb it with your fingers. And next product is going to be my shine spray. 
Love this stuff too. Kenra Shine Spray. Just give it a light mist because we all like shiny hair, but not fake shiny hair. I like a synthetic, just a nice little mist. So it gives it like a nice glossy look. And then my number one favorite product, which will come with your wig is BioSilk. And BioSilk got a bad rap back in the day, but BioSilk was, is back and it's new and it doesn't have the bad stuff in it. But just a little bit of this goes a long way as well. I mean, just like a pea size amount. Okay, rub it throughout your hands. This is gonna give it that slick, silky texture. And you can apply this throughout the day. If you start to feel it creep up, I send a little um, like trial size. So it's like a purse size, throw that baby in your purse and just keep it on you. And when you feel like you're starting to get a little frizzy, rub some throughout. Okay, so let's do a recap here. This is Danny number two. This is Slavic hair. This is pre-colored, so you cannot lighten it. You can only darken it. And this is a Russian size small, which is a 21.75 inch circumference or 22 inch circumference. It will fit as well. It is full lace. It's got the adjustable band. It's 23 inches and it's really, really a beautiful piece. So let's take a look at Danny 2 one more time. And yes, this part will be cut or this part gets cut and I will have a video showing how to cut that soon. And then you guys don't have to freak out, but I can also cut them if requested. I can cut them before I ship. But if I do cut them before I ship, it is non-refundable because we've already tampered with the lace. All right, who's gonna get her? I'll see y'all later, bye.